Decorating houses is something that we all love to do. So in this video, we are going to be sublimating onto sublimation mats and we're going to get started right now. I want to welcome you back to the channel and welcome you back to another tutorial video. I'm so grateful and thankful that you are tuning in once again to this video and I hope that you take away a lot of value from this tutorial video. Now before we go any further, I just want you guys to know that this channel is all about learning, having fun and taking away value and new ideas from these videos. So my sole intention is to teach you as much as possible. I know that I don't post a lot, but what I like to do is I like to prepare, I like to create, I like to make sure that I do a lot of different tests and make sure that what I'm presenting to you is solid, is verified, is valid before I actually bring it out there to you. I don't like bringing wrong information or I don't like messing up, which messing up is a part of life. But I like to try to bring you guys as much closest and solid information and the correct information before I do post videos so that you can take away a lot of value and so that you can save a lot of money without spending a lot of money. So I hope you guys do appreciate these videos and I want to thank you again for always tuning in, supporting the channel and watching. In addition, as I normally do here on the channel, I'm going to put everything on the side of the screen here so that you will have the opportunity to actually take a screenshot, pause the video, write down the tools, the resources, the time frame, the temperature, every single thing that I'll be using in this tutorial video to help it be a great success. So we're going to start with all the talking. We're going to jump over to my table to show you guys exactly what we're going to be using. There's not too much resources and tools we're going to be using today in this video, but we're going to make it work with what we do have. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Let's talk more action. Let's get into it. So let's take a quick look at the tools and resources we'll be using today. And we don't have much today in this video, but we'll be using our ASL paper 120G 11 by 17. We have our two sublimation mats here. We have our heat tape, which we're going to be using to keep our designs stuck down to the mat. We have an exacto knife, scissors, and ruler just in case we need those. And of course, I'll be using my HPN Signature Series heat press and the WF7710 printer to print out my images. And you're going to see all of that as we go throughout the video. All right, so let's jump into the Silhouette Studio program and show you how the designs actually look. So we're here in the Silhouette Studio program where all the action takes place. And just to give you a quick overview and to let you see the two designs I'll be using and utilizing to sublimate onto these sublimation mats. The first one is a bit more complex. We're going to have a house with the word Psalms 46 one. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And the second sublimation map we're gonna be doing, we'll just simply have the word welcome. There's no place like home, some butterflies and some leaves. You can see, the, see them there clearly on the screen. I'm using the 11 by 17 paper as I mentioned earlier in the video. I don't have the 13 by 19. If I had a 13 by 19 paper, it would have been much easier or even making it way, way much easier is if I had a larger format printer where I could just print the entire design on one piece of paper and then sublimate it. However, we have to work with what we have. So if you are in a position like I am in and you don't have a larger format printer or the 13 by 19 um, paper or even the 11 by 17, you may have to use a smaller paper. But the whole aim of it is for a design like this one, which is the first one, you will have to break it up into pieces. So I've already done that. I've already broken up my my um, my design into pieces. I'm going to place these on the mat and I'm going to print them out, put them together and then sublimate them. So I'm going to check the media and quality first. My media type will be set to high quality plain paper. My quality is set to normal. I'm going to change that to best. 
we're going to go over to our layout section and make sure we have everything set so I'm going to flip my design here and we're going to hit print so we have our designs all printed out as you can see here now what we are going to do is to cut off the edges put them together then we're going to head over to the heat press and sublimate them and see how they come out so we have the welcome of course we print it reverse so we actually place it on the mat and press it it will come out the correct way so you should be able to see that inside of the camera then we have our butterflies once again everything is reversed you'll be able to see it like that so we're just going to move ahead and I'm going to actually start off with um, the house itself and then we're going to go from there Alright, so there's no time for us to sublimate our mats and this is going to be a bit tricky. Of course, our heat plate here, as you can see, is only 16 by 20. Our mats are drastically and way, way bigger than this. So we're going to have to press it in pieces. So we're using 385 Fahrenheit for about 60 seconds with a nice light to medium pressure. So we're going to do this in stages, in steps, and then we're going to see the results. So we're coming up on the final, final press. And here we go. let's take a look at the final results and I'm going to tell you guys this was a lot of work and I even made a small boo -boo mistake now if you look here you can clearly see it you can clearly see that we still have a gap a small gap right there as you can see there but it looks really nice you can see some of the marks from the heat press on the paper you can see it multiple presses but I believe once I wash this then these marks will eventually come out all right then we're going to go over here to the second one looking all nice and good welcome there's no place like home so this is just them so guys let me know what you think down in the comment section let me know what strategies you would have used you see that I was a struggle with this one in particular because it was a full wrap. I used 11 by 17 paper and one advice or one tip I can tell you when you're doing a full wrap, whether it be shirts, whether it be a mat, whether it be something that's bigger than your heat press, make sure to have some kind of cardboard, some hard cardboard to filter under the bottom to keep the um, item level and straight. You don't want it bending off the edges when you're heat pressing because that can cause ghosting and it can cause like this line here to be there. So you wanna at least have some kind of stability under your 
under your map or your item which is larger than your heat press so that when you press everything can be level and straight but let me know guys what you think in the comment section the colors are pretty bright pretty vibrant to me and i think that all in all i'll give it a probably a six or a seven out of ten but i'll leave you guys to comment down below and to tell me what you think and to give any advice that you have so remember if you're interested in getting any of these sublimation mats here make sure to click the link down in the description if you're looking to get one of the hpa signature series heat presses the workforce epson 77 printer any tools any resources i have all of the links down in the description for you so don't ever forget to go and click them also feel free to ask me questions i have no problem with answering questions so ask me a ton load of questions i'll surely get back to all of your questions and i'll answer them for you and remember guys make sure to follow me on instagram also so that you can see daily updates and daily notices so i want to thank you guys and remember we make your prints and fashion come alive.